Hi guys and welcome back to my ASL Teacher Rocks. Um, I promise you this is going to be a short video because I am tired. It's been a busy, busy, busy day. We've had three classes, two one-on-one -on -one classes, and you guys know today is Wednesday. So I had my little signers rock class, which was awesome as always. I I love my little signers. Um, if you are a parent watching this video and you've not signed your child up for those classes, they're every Wednesday. And you can go to my Facebook page, My ASL Teacher Rocks, type it out just like that, and the page will pop up and you can sign them up for a future class. And it's completely free every Wednesday. It's about 30 to 45 minutes long, okay? So put that to the side. Anyway, so I didn't want the night to end without doing a very short video on tense. So... Let's give me five minutes, Max, okay? Five minutes. I know I always say that. I always commit to a time and I never stick with it. Sorry. All right, so when you think about tense, there's three tenses. We have uh, past, present, and future tense. Those are our three tenses. In English, we can express tense in so many different ways. For something that has already happened, we can say, I did that or um, I went there. That indicates that it's in the past tense. Something that's in the present tense would be like, oh, I'm doing that, or I, I'm, I'm currently working on that. You can say it in so many different ways. Same thing with future tense. You add ing to the end of a word, I'm going to the store. Or you can say will, W-I-L-L, -L, I will go to the store. So you can express tense in a variety of different ways in English. But how do we show that information in ASL? How do we uh, show that concept in American Sign Language? So that's what I'm going to talk about. So there's three signs that we use when we're referring to tense in ASL. The first one is the sign for finished. So you're going to take both hands, five hands facing your body, and you're going to fling them out. That's the sign for finish. Finish. So that sign can be finished, already done, already did it, I did it, it's over, past tense, past tense. The next one is the sign for present tense, which you're going to use your palms again facing your body. You're going to turn into your Y hand. This is your letter Y. And you're going to pull down one. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, like, isn't that the sign for today? No, it's not. The sign for today pulls down how many times? Two times. That's right. Today pulls down twice. Today. For the sign for present tense, it's now. It's going to pull down once. So, now. Now. That's present tense. All right? Now, the last sign is going to be future tense. So, for something that happens in the future, remember that your body is your reference point for your signs. That's that when you're showing something, this is your relationship between the signs. So if the location is closer to, to your body, it's referring to something that's um, maybe in the near future when you're this close. So take your hand closer to your body and then you extend it forward just a little bit, not too much, probably like a foot maybe, maybe a little less than a foot, about right there. And that indicates that it's something that will happen in the future. So it's future tense. So you have past tense, present tense, and future tense, okay? So those are your three tenses. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of examples for us to practice that, okay? So if I said, I did my homework, I did my homework, that would be the past tense. So homework, so I'm indicating that my homework, I already did that, I'm done, okay? So your mom asked like, hey, did you do your homework? Yeah, I'm finished, I already did that, okay? Or if I said, hey, um, you know, I went to the store. So, store, me, that indicates that I've already done it. It's finished. Yes, I've already went to the store. So, that refers to past tense, okay? The next one is going to be for present tense. So, if I said, um, I'm doing my homework. I'm doing my homework. Well, that indicates right now. So, homework. So, I'm telling you that my homework, oh, I'm doing it right now. My homework, I'm doing it right now. I'm working on it now. So, okay, so I'm showing you it's in the present tense. If I said, um, I'm going to do my homework, I'm going to do my homework. So, so I'm telling you that I will do it in the future, okay? I will. So, same uh, example with the store. If I'm saying that I'm going to go to the store later, so, So I'm telling you again that I will go to the store. I haven't went yet, but I will go to the store, okay? So again, those are your three tenses. Now, a good question that I know someone asked me in class today was, does it need to be signed at the beginning or the end? Which was an, 
Awesome question. Now, when you think about ASL sentence structure, if you've taken a class with me or seen one of my videos recently, I think I kind of touch on um, time, topic, comment, which is the sentence structure for ASL. However, when you're thinking about that time, it's more of a specific time, okay? Like two weeks, two days, next week, next year, tomorrow, yesterday. That's the time that you're looking for at the beginning. So time, topic, comment. So that time has to go at the beginning of that sentence to follow that sentence structure. However, when you're just looking at the tense, past, present, or future, tense can be signed at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. Now, let's say you had a sentence that had both, a particular time frame as well as a tense. So if I said, in two years, I'm going to move to Charlotte. So how does that sentence look? Well, my specific time frame, and we know that time is at the beginning, and ASL sentence structure is going to be, okay? So I have my tense of will, because I said I'm going to move to Charlotte, but I also had a time frame in two years, okay? So that still, that still is going to be signed at the beginning. Now, what if I didn't have that specific time frame? What if I just said, I'm going to move to Charlotte? That's it. How does that look? I can do it like this. I could do it the other way around, like. So I can do it in the front or at the back. I think I generally um, use it at the end of a sentence. For me, just depends on what I'm saying. Like if somebody asked me that I already work out today, I may do it in the beginning. Like, yeah, finish, finish. If somebody's asking me a question, if I'm just making a statement like I did just now, like, oh, I'm moving to Charlotte, I'm going to move to Charlotte, then I'm probably just going to leave it at the end and do the will. But there's no right or wrong when it comes to uh, using tense at the beginning or at the end. I've even seen like some of my, my deaf friends, they use it both at the beginning and the end. Like, finish, finish. And I think I typically do that sometimes too, like to put emphasis on it. So anyway, I said I was going to try to keep this short. I think I'm right at like seven minutes. Y'all forgive me. Have a wonderful night. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye guys.